So, we're on the way to Aaron's doctor appointment, and the car in front of us says, Keep the ocean blue as a bumper sticker. And I'm like, One, the ocean's not blue. And Aaron's like, What color would it be otherwise? Yeah, what color are you preventing it from being? Green? Purple? <laughs> Okay, morning, morning. So we have to head up to the third floor. Oh, so high. I'm afraid of heights, man. I'm afraid of heights. Oh, big elevator. Oh, it's a little car. You guys can't see because of the reflection. There's a little car right down there. We're up so high. So high. So, yeah, we're in sweet 300 minutes. She said it takes up the entire floor, so. Can you take your temperature? Nope. But we're at 118 over 62? 64. 64? And she didn't tell me my uh, pulse. Well, I mean, I understand that, you know, you want to have like one beat a second is just yeah. great. So we're waiting on the physician's assistant to get in here for Aaron. I hooked onto their Wi Fi, but I'm not necessarily sure if I get the Wi Fi in here. Walls and stuff. Time hop. No way, was this really you? Perfect throwback Thursday. I love these automated messages that they give. Yeah. The one that I like is uh, perfect throwback Thursday. One year ago, nothing. Two years, nothing. Three, nothing. Four, nothing. Five, nothing. Six, nothing. That's it. My left arm is just dying. Throwback Thursday. <laughs> left arm. <laughs> With the bruise at that same spot. Bacon, pepper jack, pepperoni. Sandwich. Man, I ate the weirdest shit la last year. Last year? Yeah. I'm glad you haven't eaten the weirdest shit. Oh, last that's year. two years ago, sorry. Because we don't have any microwave bacon. That's why I haven't eaten that sandwich. Little interest or pleasure in doing things. Not at all, several days, more than half, nearly every day. Uh, Over the last two weeks. Over the last two weeks? Was there like a three quarters option? More than half? Yeah. Momentarily. Trouble Aaron. falling or staying asleep or sleeping too much. Aaron in a Star Cruiser. Your turn rate. Oh. <laughs> it was the. I took two pictures and yeah. The fact that it was a plane that just like. had this sort of turn. It looked like it was doing this in the skies. Anyways, because it was, it was actually like four years ago from what the, the time hop says. Yeah, four years ago, five years ago, nothing. Sixteen years ago, The Sims was released. Dang. So, yeah, you're sleeping too much, probably. I mean, that's the thing, is when I go in for my psychological stuff, I... So, apparently I have a lot of crud in my ears. And when he means crud, it means like she was digging with a, that little tiny hook tool. It's like really skinny and metal and she just was digging around in there. And he was like getting like painful stuff. But to me, it probably would have been, I probably would have been making this face, Aaron. Yeah. Because, <laughs> do you use Q-tips? No. Good. And I'm like, I use, I use Q-tips on camera. I use Q-tips every freaking day. I kind of have to, considering they leak constantly. Because I have holes. You, I mean, I don't want to say that you're... I mean, who knows, maybe this ear cleaning will help. I didn't realize they were so full, because I don't have one of them fancy tools. To get... Yeah. But they're going to have an ear wash done. Like, they, she pulled stuff out, and it had, like, some of the hairs in it, and it was black. It was reddish orange which was reddish orange to me kind of looked brownish black but yeah. my eyes it looks like it was maybe bloody it could have just been crap from man if clinched when I did that it could have been just from the crap that accumulates in the air I mean if we had just had like a forest fire thing come through and you're it was, that would have it, on that yeah. but I, mean, I don't know maybe you did have a little bit of bleeding going on in there I just like I can't I'm going to try to watch that. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it on camera, but I want to watch that. Ask if you can get it on camera, definitely. 
you ask. <laughs> It'll be gross, and I'll have like, we'll cut after this, and then I'll be like, gross crap, depending on what it looks like. Gross crap, and then probably a timestamp or something as to when to fast forward to. But then he's gonna wear a monitor. Yeah. Which is like, we're gonna have to bring this in after practice. Yeah. Or Monday. That's true. I just hope we can like drop it off. Not have to yeah. have you take time off work. That's what I was thinking like Saturday. Just come by, drop it off in the afternoon. Plus it'll give you a good, you'll be waking up twice and then that'll be like early mornings. Yeah. And you have those what not. Just like that. You're going to lean a little bit towards me. Okay, I'm going to squirt a little bit. You're going to let me know if it hurts. Yeah. It, it should be pretty warm, but not hot. Okay? Oh, that's fine. So. How's that? My eye tickles. <laughs> okay, so let me rinse this out. You can let go. See? Okay. It's starting to come out. Plus the moment she said, you have a lot of earwax, he's like, yeah, it's probably just that one. Like, he had some idea it was. <laughs> well, let's take a look. Which is really strange, because that's my say, it's the right ear is the one that I have the worst problems with. It's got the bigger hole. And I have told you one of the, some of the stranger things I've heard because of my ear problems. And I don't think there's a person yet who hasn't cringed at when I've described that. It's stuff like this why I love my job. But this is nothing, okay? I mean, uh, I've seen. <laughs> you've seen some things. <laughs> but it's just, you know, it's just the fun, normal things instead of being on the phone all the time. The body yeah. maintenance. <laughs> But not literally everyone does. I probably have some deep-seated paranoia about my ears is why I clean them so much. How's that feeling? Uh, it was unexpected pressure of it. Okay. Guess. I'm thinking we're making pretty good. Oh, we still sure if the camera was able to... Oh, hello! Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you let go a second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's that ear. And she was pulling a lot of stuff out of the other ear. Yeah. So let's take a look and see how we look <laughs> inside now. It's just this cola is just uh, an enzyme that breaks it down. It's it's like um, colace is a it's like a stool softener except colace in liquid form for the ear. Okay. Stool softener, but this mm. is liquid form. Okay. Some people. Whoa. Jeez. A little bit more, and then I think we've got this here. It'd be funny if this fixes. Is dizzy problems? Yeah, it is common. Well, Aaron, let's see. We'll, we'll, we'll see if you have issues hearing me now. <laughs> I'm sorry, I haven't been able to hear you. I, everybody seems to be muffled. Gee, I wonder why. 
You basically look like a Toodle River after the Mount St. Helens eruption. <laughs> That's the last of it in that ear. <laughs> this ear is? When you push into some big oh, thing. Oh, really? Okay, because it might be where... Probably. It's just sensitive. Yeah. Okay, so I don't want to touch that one anymore. Skin has a weird see. way of doing that. If it has a protective layer over it, it kind of loses some of its... Yeah. Which is why it's like... If you leave a bandage on too long, it can actually hurt pulling off because the skin's done its weird... I don't know. Yeah. But I've definitely got the muffledness in this ear. Now? Yeah. I think it's just like a water bubble. It's... Because as much as people s like to believe that it's a solid system in between the eardrum and the, and the outside, I don't understand how eardrops work then. Yeah. Because if it's supposed to be a completely sealed system, how, you know, and I looked really close and there's this little tiny duct tube that goes underneath it. Mm -hmm. And that's probably what you have, probably have some water in there. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, because I have, I know like the one day I had Heather look at my ears because, you know, it just felt weird to me and I had fluid behind my eardrum. Yeah. And she says it had a really tiny eustachian tube. Mm -hmm. Which, when it's like that... Yeah, my ear, my, my constant ear infections were the fact that my adenoids were swollen. They put in one set of ear tubes and they went away, and then the mm -hmm. ear tubes fell out, and the ear infections came back. So they took out the adenoids and the tonsils and put more ear tubes in. The ear tubes didn't fall out for eight years. Yeah, I should now I have permanently permanent holes in my eardrums. Mm -hmm. So I have to clean my ears all the time. There's always the fact that, you know, yeah, it, it'll... It'll work itself out. You haven't had, you aren't known for chronic ear infections, so. So if you could like straddle this way, since I'm vertically challenged here. I see <laughs> what she means. <laughs> That's going to be a good one. I, I know that one. You're like, this could be good. Of course, now here I can kind of be over this way. Okay, and then. Let me know if it hurts. Mm. Hmm. Yes? Yeah. Okay, let's aim it just a little bit differently, maybe. Mm. Yeah, because it's coming out. There it comes. Hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> it was there. I think it just around the corner there. Oh, wow. I see what you mean. Okay, She's right, it is kind of soft. The, let's yeah. just say the, li the liquid that went in was, is clear and the liquid that came out, it not. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> yeah. She's right. It's really soft, so it's not like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's. We're filling up here. Let's empty that out. Let me show. Them. That's what color the liquid oh my is, God. And, and that's the color it goes in at. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's got. Leave here being able to hear. And try not to tip too much to the side. I mean, I know she's. Drum roll. Oh. Okay, let go. Ugh. Oh, good God. Looks like a bug. Yeah. <laughs> Can I. <laughs> you want to take it home? I no, he wants to poke it. <laughs> Is it hard? 
Yeah. Yeah. And everything around it was pretty soft, so that's what made it come apart. Wow. Yeah, I had a weird thing that was in my ear once. It, um, it, they had to, they pulled it out with a thing like that, but it looked like a, it was pink and like wrinkly, it looked like a tiny little brain. <laughs> and it had, and they'd realized that it had little like spiky hairs that was coming into my eardrum. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, yeah, see, so you're a little... When you think about it, Aaron, we've got even hairs going all the way inside the ear, so that stuff. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit more squirt, and then we're done. I don't want to touch it no more. Okay? Okay. So you have a little bit just sitting out. Take one more look. You can wipe your ear. Just getting the last of it. Oh, good. Was I wrong? Should we have used the Coley's? No. Okay. When I saw this, I was saying, hmm, I don't know. Yeah. But no, it came out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's what oh. I thought. How do you feel like? It's that little bugger right there. It's just wax. It's not a bug. Well, I said a bugger. <laughs> 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 I've seen enough of the YouTube videos of <laughs> bugs in the ears. All right. That's usually so the So you want to take a look at it now because I think it's, you think it's good? Yep. Okay, so... Just finishing up, we're home, um, 10.30. I'm sitting down at the computer, it's 10.30. Um, Star Trek just, they just start back at 7 to 9, 7 to 10.30, 10, whatever. And I'm gonna get you guys up and going, and yeah, that's gonna be a weird edit. 20% services sale. Interesting. Do you know what the services sale is? That's on stuff like uh, bank slots. Yeah, that's, or you want a character rename or an upgrade token, I think. Yeah. There's a services sale, Time and Tide Week 2, which is probably what I'm going to run today. Um, after I get you guys done, I'm probably going to run Time and Tide and get that um, console to help the polar on damage. Ah, uh, I might have to take off. I might have to make myself a... No, no I don't want to do that because I'm just going to get another one. Ah, like I said, I'm going to have to, like, futz with this stuff about this ship. Because I want to use phaser... I want to have the boost to the phaser damage because that's what that one is. That one, um, whole set is with the temporal disentanglement console. And the it has the destabilizing beam. And so, yeah. That's like phaser damage, but this new set, which I really want to use, which is way geared towards science, is a Polaron set. So, yeah. <laughs> Just not enough consoles! <laughs> not enough weapon slots. I think the kinetic beam might be the next thing that goes. If I can't equip the phaser omnidirectional beam and this omnidirectional beam at the same time, then the phaser is the one that's going to go, because that's a crafted one. This one may be able to, and if it can be equipped with it, then the kinetic beam's the one that's going. That's that. Okay, good. We're done. I'm just going to get in and do my thing while, okay, whatever. We'll see you guys tomorrow for one take. It'll just be me, Aaron, going back to work tomorrow. Who knows? We got so much stuff planned today, I'm probably not going to head out to the field. Should probably rest in case we need to go over some things on Saturday. And not stress my ankle that much. We still have week. We still have months to go. February and March and April we're missing two practices because of a parade and no and then the adoption event is basically a scrimmage but so we're at least missing one practice because of the parade anyways we may cut one out because of Easter because that's at the end of March uh, who knows who knows <laughs>